pickles. Back we are. All right, butterscotch popcorn. So, first thing you gotta do is oil your trays. You need a couple of trays, and you've gotta oil them first. Um, you have to have everything prepared first for this one. I don't have that spray stuff, so I'll just put a little bit of olive oil on a paper towel. If you've got the spray stuff, use it. If you don't, just do that and just wipe it over. Not bad, eh? So you don't need to do a thick layer, obviously, or you're going to have all your popcorn oil. And it worked perfect. So yeah, if you don't have the spray stuff, paper towel, wipe it over, she's done. All right, they're oiled. So the next thing you got to do is have your popcorn ready to go. So if you watch my <laughs> my last train wreck on popcorn, you'll have it all ready to go. 125 grams of popping corn cooked. Then for your butterscotch sauce, you will need 125 gram. Oh, sorry, you will need 125 grams of butter chopped up in a saucepan, uh, three quarters of a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of honey. All right, so you have to have everything ready to go. Uh, you can't stop with this one. So make sure you've got your mixer thing ready for your popcorn. So it's all ready to go when you get back with it hot from pouring it. All right, make sure you've got a spoon for this one. So now we're gonna go over to the oven. Ah, it's still melting. So once you can't feel the grainy sugar anymore, <clears throat> that's when you can crank it up. But I've got an electric and it goes up that slow that um, it should just go up with it. All right, the sugar's melted. Now we've just got to bring it to the boil. five minutes. Can you put a timer on for me? All right, this is after a couple of minutes. All right, folks, that's been five minutes. Turn your pot off. Now, you gotta do this so quickly. All right, we gotta go over to our bowl. All right, you must have your bowl ready and you must have your spoon thingy ready. Now, honestly, I don't know how to do this without burning the crap out of yourself, so we'll give it a crap, but... So you sprinkle it over it. you got to do this so quick. All right, get it all out as quickly as you can. And then you've got to, you've got to stir the shit out of it as quickly as you can. And I'm telling you, you always burn yourself. Well, I always burn myself. Oh, you have to do it. You just have to keep going because soon it will be too cold and it won't mix into them. Now, if you love cashews, I don't have any at the moment, but I would have thrown them in there the same time as I threw that, threw the butterscotch in there. And I'll mix it up with cashews. Oh my God, mate. Bliss bomb what? So, all right. I want to make sure they're coated good. So you can pretty much do this until they start kind of sticking together in too many big clumps. Alright, that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. So you tip it out into your two bowls. Be careful, remember, do not let any of it touch your skin. Because you need some room to fork it all up. So just wash out of that one, might be fine. Alright, you're going to get a fork, which you should have probably had ready already. And then with your fork, just keep tapping them all. As they start getting uh, colder, it's easier to break them apart a little bit. So just got to do it quick though. I don't really like using a fork on my new trays, but anyway. All right, keep going with it. Like I said, as it slowly gets harder, they'll chip out, chip out easy, and then they won't stick at all. So 
So I'm not chopping hard. So yeah, you just keep doing it until they're cooler and all loose. But yeah, if you've got the um, uh, the cashews in it, my golly god. There you go folks, I'm telling you now, this is better than bliss bombs. And um, yeah, you'll never buy from a packet. And how cheap is that? Like, it's only a couple of bucks for the popping corn. And then to make these up, I put them in a tin, like a some old roses tin or something. Um, yeah, it's got to be something airtight, and they'll be good for ages. Great for parties and that, and those little cone things. All right. So see how that's all loose now. On real way. Don't know about this one. We'll see if I've left it too long. It just means you'll have chunks of it, but um, yeah, I don't really appreciate the chunks. I'll just get in there now that it's getting drier. So don't panic, just keep going through with it. So you can, you know, see how it's all, it's awesome, isn't it? All right, let's do it again, because it's still warm. I can still feel it warm. And there you have it, folks, your butterscotch popcorn. So when that